And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And now the opening lineup for Team World. They've got Josh Giddy, and it's Watford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. There's the pick. RJ passes to Watford. Shot clock at five. Here's Matherin. It's hauled in by USA. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Weekend. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's such a First to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. USA shooting their first free throws here for the night. And both free throws good for MP. And it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. And Carroll grabs the board. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. MP against Giddy. A nice shot by MP. You brought the big stage, these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Here's MP following the bucket by Team World. Jackson, and he drops in the layup off the glass. You've got to box out on the boards when you don't. That's what happens. And so just over a minute and a half played. RJ passes to Giddy. We've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in the bit where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. Here's Ben Kill. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And some players in the Rising Stars Challenge aren't especially well-known yet. But this young man is someone we've already become very familiar with. It has not taken him long to really establish himself in the league. I mean, he's been logging a ton of minutes. Here's Duarte. Hello, Ben Carroll making his last shot. Giddy the pass to Matherin. They get it back. USA leading by three. Green kicks to MP. Makes it off the glass. MP's got six points. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. A blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. Van Carroll up there with MP. Then it's Cunningham. Then there's Jalen Green. And it's Jackson in the center position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Now here's Giddy after the miss from Santos. And it's Matherin missing. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Here's Santos going inside. A shot off that time. And Team World will come the other way. Giddy with it. Now defended by Cunningham. Passes to Matherin. Pass to Orte. Down low. Here's Watford. Good. Watford's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for Team World. To the paint. Here's Santos. That's in. Coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got four assists in the game. Giddy with it. He has five. the best to Matherin, and he goes in for the jump. And one of the better athletes in his time at USA. Calls 
time here. Institution on the court. Two World Pulse Timeout. There you go, fans. That was your USC team answers. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Here's Duarte driving in. And the rejection by Jackson. Here's Giddy, and the game still falls. With the score, with the score, your USA team, the visiting team, with you. As soon as we get back from this short break. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. So, Team World's five right now. They've got Sharp, and it's Watford in at the five down low. Cunningham finds MP. Off target from three-point range. Giddy against Cunningham. Now here's Giddy. He's covered closely. Here's Duarte. And two free throws coming up on it. Isaiah Jackson. First personal foul. First team foul. So getting out of shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. Another thing they're doing well tonight is getting steals. And that can be attributed to their tenacious style defensively. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Giddy against Cunningham. To the wing right side. Watford passes to Giddy. Five to shoot. And the rejection by Jackson. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. And it's Team World with the ball. Trailing by two. Now, Giddy has to Duarte. Now, here's Giddy inside. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. That gives them the lead. And Team World leads by two. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Here's Santos. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. And that's now 18 points for MP. Passes it to Watford. Here's Duarte, guarded by Green. Here's Duarte, Green with the rebound. Cunningham looking it over. Two minutes. Dishes it to MP. And stolen by Giddy. Here's Matherin. It's hauled in by USA. They've led by as much as 10. Green against Giddy. The drive by MP. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. MP's got six points in the quarter. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Here's Duarte, guarded by Green. Driving to the basket. Count the basket. Duarte's got it all tied up now for Team World. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And it's good for two. 
And it's now 22 points for MP. When it's green making plays for others, that's a really good sign for this squad. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. Tremendous effort, putting pressure on the rim here at a critical time in this game. From 11 feet away, two free throws coming up. Ivy dishes to Cunningham. Here's Santos. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. They've got Josh Giddy, and it's Garuba in at the four. Manton, the pass to Garuba. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Giddy. Misses off the left eye. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold screen. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Well, defending Cunningham will be a challenge. You have to pay extra attention. That's when you leave someone open. Here's Matherin. Team World with another miss. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for USA. And the dunk by Jackson. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Giddy against Cunningham. Giddy the pass to Garuba. Six to shoot. Here's Banton. Over Ivy. Banton's shot is off. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Cunningham finds Barnes. MV outside. And that's an intentional foul. And USA with some changes. And Carroll's checked in for Barnes. And Jalen Green subbed in for Ivy. And they double up Cunningham. Pass to Santos. Here's the three. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. And USA leads by seven. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Here's Torte. And nothing is falling for him right now. Frank, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Back to Cunningham. The pointer drains it from beyond the arc. And now it's a 10-point USA lead. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? 80. The visiting team. 70. and celebrities alike have descended on this town for All-Star Week. There's been a bunch of fun events. <laughs> Players, coaches, what a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. And All-Star Week is one great show after another. And it's a completely new group for the East All-Star. And the West All-Stars, looking at who they've got. We've got Brandon Ingram, Booker out there with Irving, and it's Anthony Davis, and it's Autobio in at the power forward position. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Irving kicks to Ingram. Ingram can't get that one to fall. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the East All-Star. Seven-point differential. Towns trying to get open. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And 
so here are the West Alstom. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to Ingram. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this one. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And this is what makes Mitchell dangerous, his ability to rise up immediately after catching that pass. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the West. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. That'll do it for the first half. Game time. Well And it's time to strap in as we get set to bring you the explosive action of the second half of the All-Star Game. And that first half. So the East All-Stars win it. And guys, while the result and the bragging rights go to the East. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day, and peace out.